are enjoying a beautiful day across central Indiana. In fact, I'm not sure that I'm going to even run my air conditioner today. <laughs> it's been on for days uh, yeah. on end, but I mean, look at the temps, Sean. We're, not, we're still in the 70s. Yeah, I mean, we're going to climb into the 80s. There might be a few folks that might have to turn it on, but right. uh, it, maybe just a couple of hours. Yeah. Scott. Once we get towards sunset, we're going to see cool temperatures again. Let the fresh um, air in. Let the fresh air in, my friend. Let me show you. Let's just take a tour across our viewing area with our camera network. We've got you covered. Uh, good afternoon up in uh, Walcott. Beautiful White County there. You see the Windmill Farm. This is, uh, we'll slide you over into Miami County. A few fair weather clouds starting to pop up just to add a little scenery to our shots. This is Kokomo at Boulevard Elementary uh, down in Tipton. Great location here. And you notice that how blue the sky is again for today. Here's the vantage point in Westfield. And we'll uh, last stop check here in Noblesville. Beautiful, beautiful day for us. And I, again, I think it's the best weather in the country. I want to show you the visible satellite. We're starting to see, again, a few fair weather clouds, but they're going to be harmless. Uh, and temperature is the bigger story right now. We've got 74 in Crawfordsville after starting out in the 40s there. 78 in Indy, up 20 degrees from the low temperature we had this morning. And uh, r running about 5 to, in some locations, 10 degrees cooler than this time 24 hours ago. Just a spectacular day. 78, no wind right now, and a dew point that's at 53. So this is dry air and certainly feels great compared to what we had over the weekend. So mostly sunny is the forecast for today. Should peak out at about 83, 84, between 3 and 5 o'clock. Going to be a spectacular evening to get out and do anything. But if you're going to be down on the canal, we've got summer under the sails that continues here. Uh, this is at the Ida Jorg, 6 to 8 p.m. And look at those temperatures. So going to be fairly sunny, but fairly comfortable. And as we were telling Scott here, you can open those windows tonight, keep them open, and give the ACs a break here. We start out tomorrow morning about 56 in Peru, 57 tipped in Noblesville at 61, the metro area in the lower 60s. So still very, very comfortable early on our Thursday. And a day that's going to be uh, similar to today, although I think we top out higher. We go 88 for the forecast high tomorrow. And you should notice a little more cloud cover tomorrow afternoon, but it will be dry for the concert on the canal on Thursday. We only have two more of these. Uh, and uh, my yellow rickshaw there from 5 till 8. Always a great event downtown. Here's future track 13. You will notice spotty to scattered thunderstorms developing here. This is tomorrow night and very early Friday morning. Start of more of a little active trend here. And during the day Friday, enough heat, enough instability perhaps, and maybe enough spin in the atmosphere to create the potential for some severe thunderstorms. We'll fine tune the coverage, timing, and severity over the next 48 hours. Just know there is that possibility that some of these storms that blossom in the heat and humidity on Friday could be uh, locally severe, and we may squeeze out a one to three inch rainfall by the time we get toward uh, Monday morning, and that is some much needed rain, I might add. It's been a very dry July for us. So here's your seven day forecast. Now, tomorrow, much warmer. Enough storm coverage this weekend, Scott. We could have highs closer to 80 as opposed to 90 plus mm. like last weekend. All right.